Hi lovely people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your support. If this is your first time, kindly help us by hitting on that red icon to subscribe. Also turn the notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So now today's class we shall be looking at how to make an inline mermaid dress. Actually, this will just be the cutting parts of the down. Okay. All right, so I'll be teaching you how to cut it perfectly and to get um, to get it flow down well. So here I have my Ankara fabric. So I folded it with the two um, English mouths uh, together this way, so I can be able to get my desired length. Okay, so the length I'm working with, the full dress is 62 inches. My not the half length will have uh, 46 inches. So I'll be adding extra inches to it so that it will flow down very well. So I'll be adding extra 3 inches to it to make it 49 inches. So from here now, I will take my full length measurement, which is 49 inches. So from here, from those half lengths, I will take my hip measurement. So from the half length to my hip is nine inches, and my under hip, my under hip measurement is thirteen inches. Okay. So to get the fish line shape, I'll be using seventeen inches. So from the seventeen inches, I will be going in so that I will get my the fish line shape properly. I'll be using the 17 inches. So I'll make a straight line here. Okay, the next thing to do is to impute our measurement. The waist I'm working with is 36 inches into 4 to give us 9 inches. So from here I will take my 9 inches. I'll add extra 1 inch for that. And I'll add extra 2 inches for seam allowance. The hip I'm working with is 47 inches. 8 to 4 to give us 11.75 so I'll mark my 11.75 11.75 and I'll add extra 2 inches for seam allowance at our under hip, the under hip I'm working with that's for my under hip the other hip I'm working with is 43 inches. Need to fall to give us 10.75. So I'll mark my 10.75. And I'll add extra 2 inches for seam allowance. So 10.75 plus these 2 inches will give us 12.75. So coming down to those knee parts, I'll be using a, we have 12.75 here, I'll be minusing one inch from this point. Okay, so from this point now, okay, sorry, I'll be minusing uh, the 7.5, 0 0.75 that we have here. So here I'll be using 12 inches. So I'll just mark my 12 inches here. Okay. So at the down part now, we'll decide on what to use, on how you want it to, to the play to be. Okay, coming to the down part, I'll be using everything here and what I have is 22.75, okay? 
So I'll just go ahead now and uh, connect it to those points. I'll connect from here to this edge. So I'm connecting from the knee line to this to the down part. I'll go ahead and blend this so that I won't be having a, a sharp edge. Okay, so this is for the front part. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. So after cutting it out, I have this. Okay, so as you can see, I will be already having the shape already. So I'll go ahead now and cut out uh, the back part. Okay, I folded the back piece. I want to cut the two um, together. So what I did here, remember at the front part, we folded like this, but this time around, we folded this way because you know we are going to be adding extra at the back space okay and we also we will add extra at the down uh, part okay so that is why i folded like this so that you will get the length that we want well okay so here is the front part i placed it at the back after folding so i'll just sketch out the side okay the same thing it will be the same at the back so i'll just sketch it out and cut it then coming to this uh, zipper part, which is the center back. Okay, here is the, the zip part. So from here, I want to get that uh, the hip shape very well. So for you to get that, you have to measure the person from the back. I, I think the inner part of the back or your half length of the back okay then just take the measurement from the half length of the back to your under hip whatever thing you have you take the measurement okay so what i have is 15 inches so from here now i will mark my 15 inches i'll mark my 15 inches which is here so the next thing is to take our zip way um, allowance so I'll be using one and a half inches for my zip allowance okay I will just mark one and a half inches after marking this I will connect it with the straight line Coming to this half and um, this 15 inches, I will go in by one inch. So remember that what we have here is one and a half. So I will use one inch. So I'll be marking half inch. You can I swear use 0 0.75? But I want the shape to come out very well. So I'll be using half inch. So I'll connect this. I'll be using one inch. So I'll connect this now to this half inch here. Okay. Now connect this one and a half to this half inch. Okay. So I'll stop at those 15 inches. So the next thing to consider is for us to consider how you want 
the tail to be okay so coming to this down part now okay coming to the down part i'll be adding 12 inches and coming to the side parts i'll be adding 10 inches okay this is subject to adjustments you decide what you want to use and uh, how you want it to be so here now i will mark I'll be using 12 inches as well here then from this 12 inches now I will measure another I'll measure 12 inches Okay, so after getting your 12 inches here, then so we connect. I'm going to be connecting the down part. I'm going to be connecting the down part from this edge. Sorry. From this edge now. I will connect it like so to meet up with the 12 inches okay Just connect it from those 12 to that edge then I'll also connect from that 15 inches that we measured we connect from that 15 inches to those sorry this is where we stop the 12 inches okay so I'm going to connect from that 15 inches to this 12 inch cheese that we came out by the side with okay hope it's clear enough from the side I came out by 12 inches and I went down by 12 inches. You can decide to shorten your own by 10 inches or you add more. It depends on how you want it to look, okay? So I'll go ahead and connect this. From this side now, I'll connect it down to meet the 12 inches. Down, okay? You have to blend this so as not to have a sharp edge there. So I'll go ahead and cut this this shape out. Coming to this point here, I don't want it to have a pointed edge. So I'll just curve it both the front and the back. Okay, I'll just curve it to, to go down to remove, avoid this uh, pointed edge that is here. Okay, so this is the outcome after cutting it. So I'll just go ahead and cut my lining for it and I will stitch it up. So thank you so much for watching till the end. Till we meet in my next class. Love you all. Bye. Bye.